Now, meantime, in the past hour, President Trump saying that the U.S. will spend whatever it takes to tackle the growing coronavirus outbreak. He just addressed the nation about the federal response. CBS reporter Skylar Henry live at the White House with details on that briefing. Skylar. Alan, good evening to you. Yeah, the numbers have ranged from $2.5 billion to $8.5 billion. As you mentioned, the president just wrapped up a press conference not too long ago saying that Vice President Mike Pence will actually be in charge of this coronavirus task force as the country looks at ways uh, in terms of dealing with this outbreak altogether. And the interesting thing now, though, is that the president is sort of downplaying the impact of the coronavirus, sort of easing fears, if you will, saying that it's not that bad here and that people from uh, the flu actually die more. President Trump addressed the tragic shooting in Milwaukee. Earlier today, a wicked murderer opened fire at a Molson Coors Brewing Company. So our hearts go out to the people of Wisconsin and to the families. Before laying out his administration's plan to combat the spread of the coronavirus. I'm going to be putting our vice president, Mike Pence, in charge. And Mike will be working with the professionals, the doctors, and everybody else. The Trump administration is asking for $2.5 billion to fight the spread of the outbreak. Some Republicans would like us to get four, and some Democrats would like us to get eight and a half. And we'll be satisfied, whatever, whatever it is. Senior White House officials tell CBS News the president is taking over messaging to prevent the stock market from tumbling further. I think the stock market will recover. Uh, the economy is very strong. After opening higher, the Dow Jones moved into negative territory in the early afternoon following huge losses Monday and Tuesday. The outbreak continues to spread outside China. Brazil reported its first case in South America, a man who recently returned from Italy. That country is now reporting about 350 cases, prompting the U.S. State Department to issue a travel advisory, asking U.S. citizens to exercise increased caution when traveling there. Now, the president didn't hesitate to put emphasis on just how serious, though, the outbreak is across the world. As you mentioned in the piece, uh, the State Department issued a travel advisory to Italy. We've also learned that Brazil, Norway, and Georgia, the country, have also received its first cases of coronavirus as well. So while the uh, Trump administration may be downplaying the effects of the coronavirus here, it obviously still is a huge outbreak worldwide. Guys. Absolutely. So 2.5 billion, 8.5 billion. Skylar, do we know when, when is Congress going to settle on a figure, decide how much money it's going to ask for? Well, they're still deciding that uh, up until this point. We've heard from Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, who said that $8.5 billion is what's going to be necessary. We also heard from the uh, Health and Human Services Secretary, Alex Azar, who said that, uh, you know, $2.5 billion should be enough, and that will cover costs of medical equipment, including those face masks that people have been seeing uh, in terms of dealing with this coronavirus altogether. So mm -hmm. the numbers have bounced in between the two. We've also heard Republicans say that that they think $4 billion may be appropriate, but the final number should be coming in the next couple of days.